If you wanted to destroy the most powerful military in the world, what would you do? Well, among the many things you might try is hosting drag queen story hours on military bases for kids. And today, Congressman Matt Gates, who represents maybe more uniformed military than anybody in the Congress, confronted the defense secretary about it directly. Watch. How much taxpayer money should go to fund drag queen story hours on military bases? You know, drag, drag queen story hours is not something that uh, the department funds. Well, wait a second. Uh, that's actually not what the record seems to suggest. You were going to fund one at Ramstein Air Force Base. That one got canceled, but that's DOD insignia. That's a drag queen story hour for children. Then also at uh, Malstrom Air Force Base outside of Great Falls, Montana, you had a, a drag queen story hour for kids. Who funded these things, Mr. Secretary? Listen, uh, drag shows and, uh, are not something that the Department of Defense uh, supports or funds. Yeah, a liar. A board member to defense contractor before he got this job. Uh, so then Mark Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, admitted that he was not aware military bases were hosting drag queen story hours. Watch this. Can I get copies of those? Because I'd like to take a look at those myself, actually. Take a look and, and find out what actually is going on there. Because I, that's the first I'm hearing about that kind of stuff. Um, I don't read those news stories. I don't know what you're talking about. I'd like to take a look at those because I don't agree with those. Well, they're think, now in I think the official those record. shouldn't be happening. Period. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for that admission. Yeah. Actually, you'd like to go. You know, so I'm not an open-minded guy. Uh, Matt Gates represents <laughs> North Florida in the U.S. Congress. And even if he never passes a bill, it's worth having him there just for moments like this. It's just amazing. What was your, t uh, being on the questioning side, what was your feeling about their responses? America's top military leaders have brought misery to almost every part of the globe they have touched. They put Iran in a position of power in Iraq. They armed ISIS yeah. in Syria. They turned over Afghanistan to the Taliban in the bloodiest way possible. We could have taken out the suicide bomber, didn't give the authorities. They didn't even get the vengeance part right, Tucker. When they were supposed to take out ISIS, they took out a family on the way to a barbecue. And so now you see them trying to bring the misery and the ruin home to our country through this embrace of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And this is real money, $70 million they've requested for enhancements to diversity, equity, and inclusion. And this is the most divisive stuff possible. And when I showed the Secretary of Defense evidence that it was happening in Nevada, in Montana, in Virginia, he just said, nope, it's not happening. And it makes you wonder, do these people have any sense of reality or is the pain the point, whether it's DEI or the vaccine mandate, that they still don't have good answers for? But in the end, it means that nobody wants to join the military and their recruiting numbers are dangerously down. Do they see a connection between their reckless, crazy behavior and the unwillingness of people to join up voluntarily? We are in a recruiting collapse, and they say, well, we don't think DEI is the problem because we've sent out surveys, and no one says it's the problem. They don't realize that the people offended by this conduct aren't going to take their stupid survey. Let me just be honest. A great, a great share of the people who fight in our military come from the American South. And when you embrace these values that are so antithetical to the part of the country I represent, you are really putting a downward pressure on the people we need to volunteer and fight, not for some faraway land, not to go build some democracy out of sand in Arabia, but for our country. And you have to wonder whether it is incompetence or a purposeful purge. I also pressed them on making sure we get our service members their full back pay and restoration of rank. Uh, Austin said he would not do that in the absence of a legal requirement to do so. So that is precisely the amendment I intend to offer to our National Defense Authorization Act. Yeah. When you say you hate white men, you do kind of wonder, like, who's going to fight the wars then? Because that's who's always fought the wars. Actually. Well, General Milley maybe had, didn't go to the drag queen show because he was too busy getting in touch with his white rage still. Who knows? Yeah. But he gets credit for saying he wants to shut him down. Loathsome. Mac, Mac Gates, thank you so much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you.